A couple of sleepless nights ago, I found myself looking through yet another tiringly extensive collection from Zara and added almost 500 pounds worth of stuff to my basket and favorited more stuff than I would ever even know where I would actually wear it these days. But what I found very amusing was how many items they've revived from previous collections and what, in my opinion, are some items that I found when I shopped my own wardrobe that style-wise are very similar. So here are a couple of my inspirations and comparisons. Hey beautiful people, I'm Sharon, also known as Mrs. Q. Welcome back and welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for joining me today. One of my main focuses, which is carried over from last year, is to actively and intentionally reduce my retail spend and actually use the stuff that I already have and as much as possible, wherever possible, always shop my wardrobe first before going to buy new stuff. I mean, let's be clear, keeping up with every trend, every change, in style, every change of fabric, every change of color, every change of pattern, length, it can be quite hard hitting on the pocket. And if you do subscribe to all of them and buy them all, you will soon find yourself with a wardrobe busting at the hinges and still quite frustrated at never having anything to wear. So what I've been trying to do is find inspiration and ways of how to use what I already have. As I say, keeping up with every trend, nah, is just not the one. Some of the changes as well are so small, so minimal, so slight. As I say, a change of color, a change of fabric, a change from the style of dress being a midi to being a medaxi to being a mini. Sometimes it really just isn't worth it. Uh, so as I say, this is where I'm getting inspiration from. It's 2022 and nothing is new in fashion and everything is in fashion. My first item is this sleeveless knitted top. Mine shot from my wardrobe is not cropped uh, like the one from Zara. Um, it's from m and and the length of it and the style of it as well, I think is more suited to my taste. Um, I'm not a crop top kind of person, I don't think. So I really like this one. Um, I've had it for ages uh, and as I say, it's inspired by the one on the Zara website. Styled similarly to what the model has on, I've worn it with a pair of mom jeans and Diamante utility sandals, both of which are from ASOS. I think it's a really cool casual look that looks fantastic dressed down as I've done. You could throw on a pair of trainers, a pair of leather sandals, or even Crocs or Birkenstocks if that's your style for a more casual look. Um, you can dress it up with a pair of high heel shoes, a pair of mules, a pair of ankle boots, or even throw on a blazer and it's off to the office. So based on how Zara have modeled it, inspiration item number two will be the jeans and item number three, the utility sandals that I've worn with this outfit. Outfit. In terms of cost saving, the top I believe was $29.99, the jeans are about £30 and the shoes around £40. So in all it's a £100 saving just from shopping my own wardrobe and not filling the Zara basket and checking it out with these items. Please do remember that how I'm doing this is not imitation, it's purely inspiration and comparisons. So this leads me to my fourth item, which is compared to and inspired by Zara's tan linen skirt. The one that I've worn here is similar in shape uh, and it is actually from Primark and it's a PVC tan skirt. I think style-wise, it's kind of similar uh, to it. As I say, it's not an imitation, it's me trying to wear things that are similar to what's now in that are already in my wardrobe and not go out and buy new stuff. Style wise, I think the flow and the color of it are very similar to how Zara have uh, styled this with their tan linen skirt. Um, I have to say I do struggle with um, sleeveless knitted items because I've always found they're a bit too warm for hot weather and they just don't make much sense in the cooler weather because they have no sleeves. So I think I'd probably wear this more as an autumn outfit and pair it with um, a pair of ankle boots or even cowboy boots. Uh, as I say, it just makes more sense to me than wearing in the summer because I know for a fact I will definitely uh, get a bit too warm. So it's kind of confusing that they have a knitted 
sleeveless top with a linen skirt that is such a summery look uh, that said for a more summery feel I've paired the top with this white linen skirt from planet I actually got this off of vinted a couple of months ago but haven't had an opportunity to wear it yet um, I think it looks great paired with uh, a pair of sandals uh, and a belt around the waist very casual very summery uh, but as I say again kind of struggle with sleeveless knitted items uh, in the summer just don't get it but hey ho this is my take and my inspiration and comparison on Zara's tan linen skirt and their cropped knitted sleeveless top. Now onto my fifth and probably favorite revival item and inspiration and comparison are the original leather crisscross sandals. I think these came out a couple of years ago and they were highly sought after they were always sold out and i think they probably cost a bit more than they cost now um, i think these are one of those sandals that is going to come back time and time and time again pretty much like the ugg boots they come back with some kind of different uh, fabric with some different accessory a different height in this collection the main thing that i saw zara has changed about these is the original ones have a round um the back of them is round uh, but in this collection Zara have squared that off uh, they did do these in a previous collection I believe and I think they did them in a jelly um, you know a plasticky kind of jelly uh, material and they also did it in a teddy they did it in a load of pastel colors and what have you and I think one of them even had some um, metal detailing on it but you know don't quote me on that um but yeah it's a very popular sandal and i think we, we're going to see a lot of this sandal coming back year after year after year with uh, a couple of changes here and there uh, but as i say this year the change of the um different um shape of the heel is just too minor for me to go out and buy a whole new pair of them there's absolutely no reason and personally i think the tan leather style is a classic it will always be in fashion it's um very designer inspired reminds me of the yves saint laurent tribute and the hermes orange sandal now onto my sixth inspiration and comparison item uh, it's another thing that i shopped from MS a while ago uh, it is these uh animal print trainers i think they're very similar i love 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 an animal print and i think they're just more fun than a plain white cream black or brown trainer they just incorporate everything in them and let's be clear animal print is never ever going out of fashion whether you like it or not deal with it it's here to stay absolutely love these trainers i bought them mainly to wear with wide leg trousers uh, as i say they just look so much nicer sometimes than wearing a plain white cream black or brown trainer my next comparison are these ankle boots which i picked up in a charity shop uh, a little while ago i think they're quite similar to these um ankle boots from zara difference being obviously different color different heel height and also the ones from Zara come a bit higher up the leg and they're probably a bit more snug but I like these ones better because I don't really wear high heel shoes as much as I used to do so with the low heel height it's something that I know definitely I will get a lot more wear out of than if I would have gone and bought the ones from Zara as I say they look very pretty they're very trendy they're very now but as I say these ones that I found are from Essence. They're a beige suede. Um, and I think they were probably only about three pounds in the charity shop. Uh, but as I say, super comfortable and I will definitely get a hell of a lot more wear out of them than had I bought a higher heel shoe. Ankle boots go with absolutely everything and I love these shoes, super comfortable really nice comparison and it's inspired me to dig them back out of the cupboard uh, and wear them again. I'm feeling very inspired by my window shop at Zara and love that shopping my wardrobe has saved me potentially 250 to 300 pounds had I filled my basket with all these items at Zara and checked them out. I've seen loads more things that I'd love to share with you but that's all for another video. If you've enjoyed this one please do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing and I will see you next time.